XP2i has an optional mode called Data Logger XP, which allows you to record up to 32,000 data points at up to one reading per second. First, connect your XP2i to a PC. Then select the logging interval. The logging interval is the amount of time between readings. The fastest logging interval you can choose is one reading per second. Next, choose the logging type. Actual mode records the actual pressure being measured at every logging interval. Average mode works as follows. Data Logger XP will record data at the logging interval you've selected. The XP2i updates at four readings per second. So average mode will record the average of all the readings taken between logging intervals. Average with peaks will record the average between the logging intervals, just like average mode. but it also records the highest and the lowest readings that occur between logging intervals. On-demand mode records a reading every time you press the peak button and only when you press the peak button. Actual ULP stands for Actual Ultra Low Power Mode. Actual ULP records the actual pressure being measured at every logging interval, just like actual mode. But in addition, ultra-low power mode maximizes the battery life of your XP2i, allowing you to record continuously for up to one year on one set of batteries. Once you've set the logging parameters, click Send to Gauge. You can then disconnect from the software. Before you begin a recording, you need to ensure that you are in recording mode. In order to switch to recording mode, press the peak button repeatedly until the REC icon illuminates. Then press and hold the units button to begin recording. First, you'll see the current state of the recording run. Then the number of available points left on the gauge for recording. Then you will see the word start. When you see the word start, the recording begins. Notice that the high and low icons flash every time the gauge records a point. The REC icon will also flash at a constant rate to indicate a recording run is in progress. This is useful if a long logging interval is selected. Once the recording is completed, press and hold the units button again to end the recording. When you see the word stop, the recording's finished. You can start and stop multiple recording runs that will be identified by timestamps. Now you can download the data. Click Download. Click View to view the data in a table format. Select the data you would like to save. Then, click Save to download the data into a file. Choose the location, name, and file type. You can choose from an Excel workbook or a CSV file. The resulting Excel file contains two tabs. The first tab has the gauge information, run info, and a graph of the pressure data. The second tab contains the raw data itself. Data Logger XP. Data logging made simple.